everybody, it's old Roger D from Channel Downstar, and I'm here with a very special guest, um, Cameron. I'll just say Cameron. Uh, harsh Arsh. <laughs> I always Close have now. a hard time saying it. Harsh, harsh Arse. Harsh Arse. Hard ass. I just want to say harsh ass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, <laughs> he uses the, the British term. Will you shut up? See, I, I, I put this on and now it's too loud. There we go. We'll do that later. Now it's taken off. Um, yeah, this, this is a, uh, a special video series, hopefully a series that um, we will continue on. Come on already. Um, that we've been planning for, geez, maybe over a year. Yeah, I think I think because like I said, you were one of my very first subscribers when I started on YouTube. And uh, I don't know if it was because we both knew we were Doctor Who fans or just because you liked movies, you came across my channel, and then yeah. throughout weeks, we became Doctor Who fans. We yeah, found the way, out. The way I found out about you is I was just looking at um, the collection videos, just kind of looking for something new to add to my collection or something. You before, know. before you go on, switch your audio again. Your audio went back to the original. All right. How's that? Is this better? Much better. Much better. All right. Say say again what oh. you were just saying. Uh, no, uh, what I was saying is uh, I originally found you because you, you had just uploaded your um, A, the letter A. Oh, your defending. Yeah. Yeah, the defending. And it was good because I watched you and I was like, I'm not sure if this guy is funny. Or just a jerk, and then as I watched you, I just I caught on to the humor, and I and I and you always had a story to share. Yeah, and it was so fun. And what? And what, then eventually, I noticed he had Doctor Who in the background. I was gonna say, was that it, or was it until I got to the D's that you were like, "Hey, I'm a Doctor Who fan too." Yeah, that was about it. <laughs> but uh, oh, and I also gave Cameron a special shout out in. A series that I wanted to continue and things got sidetracked and I kind of stopped doing my Sunday shout outs but uh, I'll, I'll just say it right up front everybody go to Harsh Arse and uh, sub to him his his link to his channel will be down below in the message area um, like I said I was saying vice versa if this is on my channel his yes. link will be down below Yes, we will more than likely be sharing this video on both our channels. Mine possibly in parts, Cameron's possibly as one full uh, video, um, due to reasons I won't get into. But um, yeah, uh, we we had come across each other and found out we shared the same love of Doctor Who, uh, the Good Doctor, and. Um, I didn't really know at the time how extensive Cameron's history with the doctor was. And I was very pleased to find out because most of the people I've talked to, I mean, I'm an old fart. I'm an old guy. And, and I'm a youngster. And, and he is a youngster. And most of the youngsters that I've come across only know of the new doctor series from 2004 on. And they sometimes dip their toe into the classic series, but uh, not a whole lot of them because of the, 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 uh, uh, the budgetary reasons, the, the acting, the shoddy sets, the, the <laughs> special effects. A lot of people are turned off. A lot of the youngsters are turned off by that. And being that the new doctor came along and tried to, en and really did, I'm not going to say tried, but they really did enhance the special effects and made it a massive, big special effects show and has grown up until now. The, the Peter Capaldi series is beautiful to look at. It's, it's amazing to behold how far the special effects have come from that series from the Christopher, Eccle, uh, Christopher Eccleson series of 2004. It's really funny 
because a lot of the times when I'm watching series one, I think that's more cringeworthy on the special effects than classic who. Really? Really? Because sometimes it, it does feel like, um, especially in that first episode where uh, he's talking to um, whatever that thing's called. The that rubber. Controls the, outcome. the rubber the, monster, the, yeah. The Nestine conscience. Yes. When he's talking to that, and I'm sitting here like, it feels like Christopher Eccleston is talking to a green screen right now. Yeah, yeah, and even in Father's Day, which is one of my favorite stories of that season, oh, yeah. the 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 time creatures that come in are very CGI, very CGI. But then you look back at the Peter, uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, oh, what's his name? Come on, the Fourth Doctor. Um, oh, Mr. Baker. No, 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 no. The fifth, uh, the third, the third. Uh, Pertwee. John Pertwee. John Pertwee with the tentacle around his neck <laughs> and that, and the rubber. You know, even even Baker had to deal with the rubber tentacle in the uh, what episode? Oh. Uh, they were on that 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 um, barge in the middle of the water, and the thing was coming through. Anyway, I just want to yeah. say up front. I just want to say up front. Being that I'm an old fart and my memory isn't as good. Um, I, as well as Cameron, has seen every episode that is available from uh, William Hartnell on through now. But I believe Cameron probably knows the alien names better than I do. And possibly even the episode titles better than I do. At least, I, at least for the new series. Uh, the classic is... Because I've watched classics and, and, and so dispersely yeah i i have maybe a handful maybe two handfuls of the classic series that i know by name that i love i really love which goes into our which goes into how we came across doctor who um i know i always take over the thing and let me just tell you right off the bat my first my first witness of Doctor Who, my very first, I didn't know what was going on. I was at a friend's house. His name is Bill. And he was flipping through channels. Bill was our scientist friend. He would take apart washing machines and, and, and computers and watches just to see how they worked. He was like a computer nerd. And... We were in his house one day, and he was flipping channels, and he was like, oh, Doctor Who is on. And it was a John Pertwee episode. And I I started watching, and I did not get it. I, I was like, what am I watching? I this is, this is bad. This is terrible special effects. This is Channel 11, which at the time of the 70s was like, you know, the cheapest public access thing like that. And it wasn't until, I think it was the early 80s, maybe the very late 70s, I myself was at home just flipping through channels and I came across a Sherlock Holmes story. And I was like, who is this guy playing Sherlock Holmes? He's got curly locks. And he's got this... Tales of Wing Chiang. Yes. He's got this woman companion with him that's... It's very different, and this show is odd. There's giant rats, and there's this little Asian man, and what am I watching? And then it was like it ended. 20 minutes, it was over. It was like a cliffhanger. It was like you got to go in the next day and watch it, and it turned out to be Talons of Wang Cheyenne, which was my very first full episode of Doctor Who that I watched. I instantly fell in love with Tom Baker. He is my doctor. And from that moment on, when, when the titles, it was like Doctor Who, I was like, that's, that's my friend, the show my friend was watching, but this ain't the same guy. And I didn't, I just didn't understand. I was like, where's the other guy with the lisp and the, the blonde hair and the velvet outfit? This guy had a scarf. Well, Actually, this guy had was dressed like Sherlock Holmes, and it wasn't until later episodes I started watching and started getting the show and started understanding the history of 
the doctor with the two hearts and he can hold his breath for long times and who Sarah James Smith were and who companions were. And from that point on, I was hooked. Um, and I'm going to shut up now because I, <laughs> I do talk a lot. People say I, I take over things and I talk. Cameron, tell me how you stumbled across the doctor and how you felt about it. What was your first episode? Who is your doctor? So my first full episode was uh, um, um, this, uh, it's the one with Donna, the, the Christmas special. Okay. I can't even think what it's called. Um, I should know it. It's the something bride. And oh, the runaway bride. Yeah, that's it. And uh, Donna Noble. I was really confused because I was at my grandma's and she, she just got done like yelling at me because I didn't do something. And she was watching this show and I was like, okay, what are you watching now? Because I tend to think like a lot of the shows that she watches were lame. And I was like, oh, this is kind of interesting. And it got to the point where this huge spider, and I have a, I swear I have arachnophobia. And this huge spider comes up on the screen, and I'm sitting here like, what? You got Santa Claus is running, robot Santa Claus running around. And it wasn't, a, it sky. wasn't only a huge spider, it was a huge spider with a woman's body coming out of it. I know. And then you got this man, this just this strange man, who... Because that keep in mind, like at this point, I didn't realize what the TARDIS was. I didn't understand how it was traveling through space. And, like I didn't understand any of this. Yeah. And I was so confused. I watched it, and then you know a couple more episodes are going on, and then upon watching the classic series, I actually realized I'd seen the. Um, I, I recognized what episode is it? Um, the Ark. Something the Ark. It's the one with uh, the mummy, with Tom Baker. And Pyramids of Mars. Pyramids of Mars, yeah. One of my and, uh, favorite episodes, yeah. I guess I'd actually seen it a long time ago as a kid because I remembered a lot of it as it was happening. Like, not words or anything, but visually I, I remembered a lot. So the first Doctor I'd seen was four, but the first one I can actually remember was uh, number 10. But my Doctor, so technically my Doctor is 10. However, my personal favorite is Capaldi. Oh, wow. Well, we'll so. get into that. Yeah. Why? Okay, let's get into it now. Why is Capaldi your favorite doctor? Yeah.